For hockey fans of a certain vintage, no tournament has the stakes or the drama of the 72 Summit Series between Canada and the Soviet Union. And while the collective memory of the tournament has been whittled down to moments like Paul Henderson's iconic game-winning goal that ended the series, there is much more to the story than meets the eye, or in this case, the rink. Now, 50 years on, that story is being told for the first time. Here to talk about Ice War Diplomat, Hockey Meets Cold War Politics at the 1972 Summit Series is author Gary J. Smith. Welcome, Gary. Great to be with you. Appreciate this very much. Uh, now, it said you were instrumental in making the tournament happen and keeping it from falling apart. Uh, quite the big job for a 28-year-old. Uh, let's start with the first half of that statement. How did you make the tournament happen? Well, I was a young Canadian diplomat in Moscow. I had uh, spent a year learning Russian day after day, week after week, month after month. And I was sent to Moscow just ahead of Pierre Elliott Trudeau's visit. He wanted to uh, reduce tensions with the Soviet Union, uh, make sure there wouldn't be a conventional war or a nuclear war. And so he was looking for common ground. And my job at the embassy to, was, was to work on exchanges. And what better common ground was there than hockey? Uh, we had scientists, educators, musicians, uh, theatrical people. But if you wanted to reach the far uh, areas of the Soviet Union and go down into society, you needed something that would be appreciated by everybody in Russia. So they love hockey over there just as much as we do here. And that seemed the, uh, the way to go about it. Hockey, you know, we had um, we hadn't won an Olympic game since 1952 with the Guelph Mercury's, and we hadn't won a World Championship since '61 with the Trail Smoke Eaters. We were desperate to show the Soviets that we had better hockey players, but we couldn't get the NHL uh, to be allowed to play. Uh, the Olympic Committee and the International Ice Hockey Federation said you had to be an amateur. And somehow they figured that the Soviets, who all worked for the army, were amateurs, whereas our guys weren't. So what we did is we came up with an arrangement to have an exhibition series. No trophy or anything. Four games in Canada, four in the Soviet Union, and to have best versus best. And I was involved in um, almost all the negotiations that led up to that. And I traveled with the Soviet team to Canada for the four games here. Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, Vancouver. And then I was with Team Canada in uh, in Moscow. And as you can imagine, there are lots of times when this series was going to go off the rails. And my job, I was told by the people in Ottawa, your job, Gary, make sure that this series gets to the end. Now, the thinking behind this particular series, and you quite aptly or, or quite deftly uh, lay out the political uh background is that if ping pong diplomacy could strengthen ties between Canada, between China and the U.S., uh, hockey could build a bridge between the USSR and Canada. How did you perceive this from where you were in Moscow? Well, you know what? This involves Vancouver. Um, as I mentioned, Pierre Trudeau went over there. First time a Canadian prime minister went to the Soviet Union in May of 71. And the Russians were looking for a counter uh, between the Americans and the Chinese, and they saw Canada as that counter. Politically and economically, they knew that we had uh, high technology from the states. So Premier Alexei Kosygin came to Canada in October of 71. He was booed everywhere he went, Montreal, Toronto, Ottawa. Somebody jumped on his back on Parliament Hill and rode him like a horse. And when he got out to Vancouver, he didn't want to do anything more. We had sketched in an NHL game between the Canucks and the Montreal Canadiens. And when Paul Martin Sr. went to get him at the hotel, he was lying on his bed and he said, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to be booed one more time. And they convinced him that the Vancouver crowd wouldn't boo him. And lo and behold, he gets down there at center ice. Uh, he receives a stick from Orlan Kurtenbach, the uh, Canucks captain. Henri Richard, the uh, Montreal captain, he gives them some uh, cufflinks and he watched the uh, part of the game uh, was four nothing Montreal, I'm sorry to say, uh, if you're a Canucks fan. But uh, at that moment, he saw 
because he got such a, a, a big round of applause, and for the very first time, the Soviet flag flew in an NHL arena. So he started to think, okay, the best way to get to Canadians and improve relations with Canada is through hockey. And in order for us to reach an agreement with the Soviet Union, we needed a green light at their political level. And so that visit to Vancouver uh, was instrumental in helping pave the way for the Summit Series.